In this video, I explain how to replace the front brake pads for Yamaha Virago XV125. The procedure is the same for XV250, which is commonly known as Virago 250, V-Star 250, and Route 66. First, let's loosen the caliper pin. Just loosen it for now, and I will remove it later. Once that's done, let's loosen the bolts that are holding the caliper. Just make sure to hold the caliper with hands when removing these bolts because the caliper will hang loose once these bolts are out. Now let's pull out the caliper pin and the brake pads are now ready to be taken off. Once the pads are out, let's check how much they are worn down. You may be able to find out some malfunctions on caliper or hydraulics by seeing these old brake pads. Here are the new brake pads. You can clearly see the difference between the new and old pads. Now before installing the new pads, let's clean the caliper. Ideally, a full overhaul would be the best, but that's not something we often do when we do the periodic brake check and replacement. The front brake pad on my Virago is working just fine, so I'll clean the caliper as much as I can without disassembling everything. Once the cleaning is done, I'm checking the hydraulics. Brake pistons are now clean, so you should expect a nice smooth movement there. I often sand the corners of the new brake pads. It's not really that necessary, but the new pads can break in better with the rotor by doing so. Now let's lubricate the backside of the brake pad. I'm lubricating with my bare hand, but it's recommended to use gloves. Let's wash the hands right away when gloves are not used. The new brake pad is now in place. At the same time, I'm pushing the piston into the caliper body which is behind the pad. Without doing this, the brake rotor, the brake disc, won't fit between the pads, so it's really important to do this to secure enough opening for a rotor. Now let's put all the bolts back in place. First, the caliper pin. Give it a nice snug fit first and then tighten it later. The main bolts are now back in place too. Make sure to tighten with the specified torque. Before going for our test ride, let's make sure to give a nice grip on the brake lever. Brake pistons could be pushed in all the way into the caliper and the brake may not be functioning right away. So grip the brake lever a few times and test how it works before going for an actual test ride. Thanks for watching and I see you again soon.